Howdy, Possum Patty here. And today, this is my very first harvest video. Come on along. What I am doing today is I am looking for some letters to fill up my ransom letter container that I got the other day. And I got this idea from Janet Nash. She has a lovely box. And what she does is go through magazines or whatever, flyers, newspapers, doesn't matter, I guess, and cuts out the letters and puts them in her box. And then when she wants to journal and she wants a word, all she has to do is go to her box and pick out the letters and glue them into the journal. And I just love the way they look. Now the word ransom comes from, you know, those old movies where somebody was kidnapped and the kidnappers would send a note to the family demanding money to get their loved one back. <laughs> well, in those days, they didn't want to use their handwriting because that could be identified. And they didn't want to use a typewriter because apparently they could tell what typewriter the uh, typewritten note came from. So what they would do is go through the magazines and newspaper and cut out the letters that they wanted to put in their ransom note and then spell out all the words that way and then send it to the family. <laughs> I just love the way it looks in a journal though. So what I'm going to do today is just go through a few magazines and cut out some of these letters. I like the Smithsonian because it's got big letters on the cover. I don't know about the inside. We shall see. So let's get to it. Well, I'm guessing you can use all different sizes. A lot of these are white. I would love to get ones in different colors. That would be awesome. There's some little green ones. Some of the littlest ones might be hard to take apart. Here's some red, white, and blue, some numbers too. So I guess all you do, I've never done this before, all you do is, <laughs> I started cutting up one of the covers already, is take the letters and drop them into the box. Now what I'm going to do is alphabetically, but there's only 24 compartments. So I'm going to put X, Y, and Z in one compartment, and then I'm going to put numbers in another compartment. So if you're not into buying things or trying to have a no spend or a low spend year, this would be a good activity to put some supplies away for your journaling. So I got A, B, C, D, E. So E's gonna go there. And that's it, that's all you have to do. S, T, I got T there. It's helpful to have the letters facing up so I know what's going in the box <laughs> in that little compartment. I guess I could take, and this might be a good idea, take one letter and just tape it to the side so I know what's in that slot. So I'll have to do that with some letters. Let's see. See, I like this one because the letters are spaced so nicely. And they have a nice color in the background. So what I'll probably do is S-T-U, I already have an I, and an N. Get some of the letters that are like more common looking and use those to tape on the side. Some of the ones that I really like the color of, I may save those for another time. All right, I had some more of that. <laughs> yep, here they are. 
And then maybe I'll do, let's see, do a journal page and see if I can incorporate some of these letters on the page. And that'll be a challenge. A, B, C, D, E, M, A, So I was going to have a low spend year, never a not spend year because, you know, <laughs> that's not going to happen. So I was going to try for a low spend and I've gotten quite a few things this month already. And I've probably used up my budget for the whole year, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, element O, element O, is this O? This is why I need to tape some on there. A, B, C, D, E, F. And, but I'm also doing reviews for companies. So when you do a product review for a company, you actually get the products for free. So, I've got several of those going on which gave me lots of free new goodies. Plus I have an Amazon card. I have some gift cards from Christmas, A, B, C, D, H, I, J, K, L, I, U, V, W, W, X, Y, Z is gonna go in there. And I am doing some giveaways. My birthday month is coming up. And I decided that for my birthday month, I would do giveaways. So I have a whole bunch of giveaways coming up. And they're probably all going to be secret ones in that I'm not going to do a specific giveaway video. They'll, I'll just mention something in a video and you'll have to comment below and then I'll wait a few days and I will pick out a winner. I worked on my ransom letters for quite a while and let me show you inside. I have almost all the little letters there to mark the boxes. I'm, I gotta find a Q for right there. And as you can see, I've got some in every divider. I gotta turn around this way. And what you're looking for are different fonts and different colors and different sizes to make it really, really fancy. Got a large R and a tiny S. Got a straight N and a curvy S. So you want different fonts, different styles, different sizes, and different colors. And all you do is go through magazines and cut the letters out. Save them in your box. Like so. And now I'm going to journal with some. I'm going to close that up. And I'm going to make a ransom style page right here. I have a piece of, I'm going to make sure I don't knock these letters. I took out letters to make the words, today I made ransom letters. And I put them over here. And I got out my Colors of Winter journal, turned to a white page, crunkled up some notebook paper. And I have over here, let's see. I have this um, saran wrap box. You know, it has this serrated edge for cutting. And I'm just gonna use that to cut the paper to size right about there. Like that. 
It makes a really nice sawtooth edge. Let's see, let me mark it. This is probably easier than trying to do it on the book here. Okay, I'm just going to take a glue stick. Yeah, I'm going to use a glue stick. And I'm probably going to ink that up a little bit. I left on the little rippy edge there. Might have to put some extra glue on that. To get that to stay down. Oh, I also, there was a few little words I saved. I just threw them in this little box for now. Peace and joy and yay and hope and hug. Those are for my uh, trashy glue book. I was looking for some words that were small enough, I might say, for that book. And I'm just putting a little extra glue here to hold down this rippy edge. Well, I was going through the Smithsonian's and not having a lot of success finding letters, but then I went through a um, an all recipe book and it has tons of advertisements so any of those ladies magazines with tons of advertisements in it has all different fonts and letters and different sizes and that's exactly what you're looking for okay let's see if i can get this a little bit more wrinkly okay a little ink on there to make those wrinkles stand out a little bit more. This is my old my old pad. It's a bit crumbly. It's pretty old. I'm not going to re-ink it because the the pad itself is just so old it's crumbling a little bit there. So I'm just going over the wrinkles with this sponge. Kind of make that look a little more distressed. All right, let's see if I can fit all the letters on there now. And I, I, I picked a very big E. So I'm going to have to glue these down. Today, I got a little tiny D, a big A, a little Y. This might be easier on a flat surface <laughs> that are trying to do it. At an angle in a journal that's already getting chunky. Today, I. And then I've got this really big E. Made. M E D. Whoops. <laughs> Something like this. R. I got a little A. A big N ran some letters. So I'm journaling about my journaling activity today. Maybe this I will go down there. And then all I have to do is glue these down and put the date. T T. And this one was ripped, so I just left it rip. I didn't trying to leave some of the letters a little more. You know, just the way they were cut out with some of the background in different shapes. You know, maybe a clip will help. Hold this down. Maybe. How's that? Maybe two clips will help hold this down. A little flatter. Here we go. That might work. S. Okay, why do I have an O over here? T O D A Y today I M A D E R A N ran some letters. So I don't know why there is an O here. Okay, so that O will go somewhere eventually. And I'm going to glue this in. Not going to make them straight at all. I'm just using my glue stick to put these in. Possum perfect, possum straight. T 
today. And if I spell anything wrong, don't correct me. <laughs> We're just going to leave it wrong. D A. Because that'll just make it more perfecter. Okay, so I got to the all, all recipes. It's like a cookbook, I guess. Cook magazine. And the advertisements in it. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I had to stop. Or else I'd still be there cutting. And I wanted to get this in my journal. But there are so many letters. Large enough, but not too large. <laughs> and all different fonts and letters. You know, letter styles and sizes. I got a few of these from that magazine. Like this big E. I love that big E. The Big E, that's our, what we call our state fair, the Big E. M-A. So I will probably spend a little more time cutting out some more letters just to kind of fill that up a bit. Now this E would have been too big to put in that box, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I have a couple letters that are a little bit larger. I've got a couple letters here that don't fit in the box, but I may keep them anyway. Maybe I can put them in an envelope or something. Okay, I'm on the word ransom. So let me know if you have a ransom letter box <laughs> or if you'd like to make one. These are perfect for your junk journal, your true junk journal, your trashy junk journal or any journal that you are journaling in. They cost nothing but time to cut. Invest your time. It's a time investment. But it's also relaxing, so you benefit from it that way. Get that sucked down. Now my fingers are starting to get sticky, so letters are starting to stick to my fingers. I tried to pick out some lighter color letters, some darker colors. I got a nice green one there, blue, purple. This is a dark green. This M is a dark green. Try that one again. See if it stays down. Okay, I'm on my last word here. <laughs> my fingers are so sticky right now that this is, last word's gonna be fun, okay. L. L, L, L. I don't want to start all the words in the same column, but move them around a little, little tiny bit. A dark T and a light T. Some of these magazine pages are a bit slick. And they're calling for more glue. <laughs> Not sticking down. Come on, people. Come on, letters. Some kindergarten curriculums have this program called the letter people. The letter people. So my letter people are not staying down. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Again, I got this idea from Janet Nash. I will link her channel below. This is not an original Possum Patty idea. Actually, most of my ideas are <laughs> inspiration that come from other people. I'm like a monkey see, monkey do. I see somebody do it and I'm like, ooh, I want to do that too. Of course, we all do that, but we do it in our own way. Today I made ransom <laughs> letters. Ah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. My fingers are all sticky. Where's the top to my glue? Don't know. I gotta find my pen. I gotta date my paper. There's my glue top. Let me just get a pen here. And what is today? Today is what what is today the 26th okay so 
January 26th. And that was my play for today. Today I made ransom letters. Now I'm going to go upload this video <laughs> and probably cut some more letters because, you know, once I start doing something, I don't want to stop it. Let me show you. I put everything in a plastic bag here so I can take it into the other room. And I've got all these pages here. Let's see. See, I like these sort of... Um, open letters and these are nice like italics these have like a yellow around them and this is sort of teal with a black line and here's those tall letters red with faux stitches hellman's mayonnaise i like these blue letters i like black letters and then you come across something like this y where it kind of wings out like that and the r comes down i thought those are kind of cool so I gotta finish. There's some purple ones, purple background, white letters, yellow letters on a gray background. And then you got this pistachios, which are really nice green on a black. So I'm gonna go through here and finish cutting out these. That's it for today. Thanks for coming along today to discover making ransom letters. Bye bye.